Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is, of course, Wednesday, and that means it is update day here in Warzone, MW2, and DMZ. Now, as far as today's update goes, we actually have some new patch notes included with this one, alongside some actual gameplay and content changes as well. Now, as we dive into everything that ended up changing with this update, if you guys are new to the channel, every single day, I got you covered with news, updates, patch notes, meta breakdowns, you name it you're gonna find it right here so feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications to always stay up to date and if you enjoyed this video if you find it helpful at all do me a favor drop a like on it it is always seriously appreciated much love for those that do so but with today's update since this is just a standard routine weekly update there is no major download required for this one so uh you should just be able to boot up the game you might get the whole update requires restart screen you go through that you are good to go everything will be automatically applied and all the changes will be live for you so no major download required for this unless of course you're just out of date and haven't downloaded the last previous major actual title update but getting into some of the patch notes here the call of duty updates twitter account is posted a handful of new updates over the past 24 hours or so to start things off initially with an update on the windows insider program bug that is basically stopping anyone on the windows insider program from being able to actually access the game so if you're in that the game is just 100 percent completely unplayable but they have now responded and said that they released a small update that resolves that issue so if you're in that insider program you can now actually play warzone and mw2 which is definitely nice to see there we also have a larger new update on the battle pass xp bugs from this season so cod updates ended up posting a whole thread on this basically saying late last week we addressed a few ongoing issues with the battle pass xp that were impacting certain players essentially there was this whole bug where the battle pass xp gain rate and earn rate was just ridiculously slow right so you just weren't earning any battle pass progression despite playing for hours and hours so they follow this up by saying we've made a change which should fix some players not accurately earning xp for time spent in match after the season 5 reloaded update they also fix an issue where players who purchased the season 4 black cell battle pass from the last chance message were actually unable to earn any battle pass xp whatsoever which was kind of crazy and these players should also be earning xp as intended but we are currently investigating further solutions for those impacted by the issues above so basically battle pass xp has been very buggy since the end of season four essentially ever since that last chance battle pass icon showed up in game and it's only impacting certain players so like for me it might be fine for you it might be fine but for gerald over here or for kevin they're not earning any battle pass xp even though they're playing the same amount of time as you or i so it's kind of a strange and definitely very annoying issue there obviously if you're playing the game and you're not someone who's buying the upgraded version of the pass or gonna buy uh you know tiers or sectors at the end of the season you want to be credited for those earn rates so you can save your money and not have to spend that to finish out the battle pass if you care to do so so i'm glad that there are some fixes already in place for this however there is still more work to be done the jobs not finished the cod updates also posted a uh, new tweet in regards to assimilation they say a small update has gone live that temporarily disables assimilation while we investigate in exploits so obviously for someone who's actively doing that in your games you're not gonna be able to do that for the moment it will be back at some point in time although some of the replies are like nah you could just not bring it back that's okay right uh also if there's any missions or anything that you're trying to do with that larger squad you might want to put those on pause until the feature uh does end up returning so quick little psa there we also have several other patch notes and some uh reveals in regards to upcoming changes and sort of some early patch notes via the infinity ward trello board they've actually posted some new things here over the past day or so uh they do still have a quote-unquote fix incoming for the issue with the operator skin shadow 01 for graves and shadow 01 black cell because one's supposed to be a black cell upgraded skin and one's the base version of the skin however they each look the same currently which obviously is not meant to be they are also now officially aware that the akimbo uh, option is not unlocking on the nine millimeter damon pistol so that's bugged for a ton of players i'm pretty sure the laura croft bundle does have an akimbo blueprint and i think that's dropping on the 9th i want to say day after my birthday so uh that's going to end up becoming available with that blueprint for sure but ideally before then 
they actually have a fix for this because essentially when you go to level up the daemon akimbo was locked at level 20 but you skip from 19 to 21 so you don't end up getting it there so they are investigating that no fix confirmed for this as of now but it should happen here soon they are also aware of an issue with the incorrect placeholder attachment on the ISO 45. As you may recall, there's that glitched rear grip that's basically confirming the ISO 9 is going to be a DLC weapon in Season 6. Uh, so they're aware of that. Who knows if they're actually going to fix that. It says fix incoming, but they might just have the fix be the ISO 9 in Season 6. So we'll have to wait and see on that. And then finally here, they are investigating another issue. They say they're aware of an issue where the Alex operator can have incorrect appearance from the Tracer Pack rough day bundle on a PlayStation 4 and Xbox one exclusively so for whatever reason with that bundle there's an old gen problem where it's not working correctly but yeah overall for the patch notes for this update and for the past couple of days some decent fixes are now live most importantly the battle pass XP bug we've also got a handful of new updates and new fixes coming here soon now of course because it is a standard routine weekly update we do also have a playlist update today and it is definitely a very important one specifically for Warzone so for the week of September 6th we've obviously got ranked all Mazra trios for battle royale that's always going to be there every single week I do see people ask occasionally are they ever going to change that from you know all Mazra to Vondel or from trios to quads or duos no trios is going to be the hard stuck area for ranked probably permanently uh, on Almazra, there's also standard battle royale quads on Vondel we have duos and quads battle royale then there's also map rotation solos for that as well meaning it'll rotate between Almazra and Vondel for battle royale for resurgence this week this is the important one all Bagra Fortress quads is now live now unfortunately if you only want to play all Bagra Fortress it's just quads however map rotation is going to be solos duos and trios and that should be including albagra fortress as well alongside ashika and vondel so you'll have to wait an extra 15 minutes or whatever if you want to cycle between one of those three now but solos duos and trios is available for that i really wish they just keep all the squad sizes and especially for like a new map off a of launch quote unquote new map obviously fortress is ripped from almazra but i feel like it could have some decent like fortunes keep slash rebirth potential there honestly anyways though we also have armored royale quads on almazra we've got plunder this week available as well on almazra for quads and then lockdown is going to be live on vondel with quads as well so there's a lot of playlists this week for sure a lot to choose from depending on what you're feeling and playing whether it's ranked standard battle royale resurgence on the new map vehicular warfare plunder you name it we got it all live this week so honestly a pretty decent playlist update outside of these specific solos duos trios and quads available for some of the maps but let me know what you guys think down below what are you going to be jumping into but yeah all that being said that is effectively everything that ended up changing in the new updates for warzone mw2 and dmz and that's going to wrap things up if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it would be seriously appreciated and if you're new here you want to guarantee we're always up to date with absolutely everything going on between mw2 warzone and soon to be mw3 be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out